Alright guys, so with this question, remember you need to get a common denominator and so you need to always see which things can be factorized first. So this is a difference of square and so that's going to be x plus 6 and then the difference of square here is x minus 2 and x plus 2. Then you can say plus 1 over x plus 2 equals to 2 over x minus 2. So it's very easy to see here that our common denominator or our lowest common denominator is going to be x minus 2 and x plus 2 and from that we can actually get our restriction by saying that the denominator must never equal to 0. So then we say x minus 2 equals to 0 or x plus 2 equals to 0 and so therefore x must never be equal to 2 or x must not be equal to negative 2. So what that means is that later on when we get our answer we should just make sure that it's not equal to one of those. Okay, so now because this is our common denominator, we don't need to do anything with the x plus 6, but this one needs the x minus 2, so I'm going to squeeze that in quickly. So what I've done now is I've just gone and given everything, made sure that everything has the same common denominator. Now because it's an equation, I can ignore that, so I'm going to just scratch out the denominators. Okay, now what you do is you just go write everything else out so long, like that. Now we simply multiply everything through. So that's plus x minus 2. Oh, this is an easy one. I don't even think we're going to get a square. And so what we owe, oh, this is interesting. So now what we're going to find is that 2x plus 4 is equal to 2x plus 4. If you had to try to get x alone, you're actually going to end up with 0 equals to 0. Now, guys, 0 is equal to 0. So when you get an answer like this, you can say that x can be any real number. This is not going to be a no solution. It's a x equals to any real number. But remember our restrictions. x must not equal to 2 or x must not equal to negative 2. So this is actually an excellent question.